Hello, my dear friends. My name is Dr. Sankit Nathrishtu Kassa. I am an associate professor as, at Ushamitra Institute of Technology, Ascendity Women's University in Mumbai. Today, I will touch the top, touch topic of quantum dot cellular automata, which is a research topic. We take final year for the MTech students, as well as even the PhD students can, this top, can, can take this topic as the research topic. It is in high demand. I am making two lecture series here. In first series, we will touch the basics of QCA technology. Quantum dot cellular automata technology is also known as a QCA technology. QCA is a full short form of quantum dot cellular automata. Okay. As well as the pros and cons about QCA technology, I will suggest you. So, First of all, we will see the basics of QCA technology, various parameters of QCA technology. Then after in this uh, proceeding in this lecture, we will see the why QCA technology is very much important and uh, how we can implement the design in QCA technology. So the tool which is used for implementing QCA designs is a QCA designer tool. The version is 2.4.3. It was lastly, lastly updated in 2005. Then after it is not updated. Because the team which is making this tool, which was making this tool, is now um, going through the fabrication of QCA technology based circuits. So, we'll proceed. Okay. So, in this lecture series, in this lecture, first of all, I will tell you the importance of QCA technology. Then, we will touch the QCA cells. What is the QCA cells? How it is made up of? As well as QCA wire, QCA inverter, we will see, and QCA majority gate. First of all, let me clear that. We can design any circuits in QCA, either it is a combination of circuits or sequential circuits. We can use QCA inverter and QCA majority gate. These are the two basic gates which can be used. By utilizing these two gates only, we can design any circuits in QCA technology. So, so understanding QCA inverter and QCA majority gate is very much important. And uh, I will show you how to make different circuits using QCA, QCA techn technology and how to implement them in QCA designer tool. Okay, so first of all, the importance of QCA technology. See, the, as the CMOS technology has almost reached to its uh, fundamental physical limit, there has been extensive research going on worldwide to implement some kind of a new technology which can replace the CMOS technology. Because as we already know, CMOS technology has followed the new slope. So, um, in 1965, the so-called golden Morello predicted that the capacity of uh, computer chips would be doubled almost in every 18 months. 18 months means 1.5 years. It has governed the development and performance of microprocessor very well, very efficiently till now. But when we approach across the nanotechnology level, the problem is that transistor size is shrinking very much. It is up to uh, right now the scientists or the um, companies which are in IC design, they are fabricating ICs up to 5 nanometer technology models but they are shrinking the transistor, uh, transistor size up to 3 nanometer technology now or up to 1.5 nanometer technology now also just to keep up with the Moore's law which is uh, obviously which is difficult because of the power dissipation as well as the fabrication cost and the lithographic processes as well as the new technologies which is which cannot go up to that level so these all difficulties are there Okay, so uh, we need a type of a solution which can work better at nanotechnology level and QCA can be an alternative for that. Besides QCA, just for a brief introduction, the other technologies are also there, just like a tunneling phase logic, which is also known as TPL logic, then single electron tunneling logic, which is also known as SET logic, and as well as we all know the CNT APT, carbon nanotube field defect transistor technology is there. But besides among all these things, QCA would be more interesting because of its various attractive features, just like a high density of integration. And uh, we can integrate many QCA cells because the size of the QCA cells is very less. The second is high speed of operation. The theoretical speed of operation of QCA technologies in terahertz, as well as low power consumption and small dimension of QCA dot cell, quantum dot cells inside the QCA. Okay. Length uh, sir has uh, introduced QCA in 1993 from the natural quantum automata, automata technique 
as well as they have started to started to fabricate they have just tried to fabricate this technology first in 1997 okay there is the brief history about qca technology now we will see that what is the basics of qca cells so you can see that there are three figures are there in figure one a figure one b and figure one c okay a basic qca cell is shown in figure one a as shown to the figure four quantum dots in a single qca cell are there here here are these are the four quantum dots are there okay four quantum dots are there two extra electrons which always resides diagonal to each other inside the cell are there so we can occupy two QCA cells these one QCA, one two electrons here or two electrons here they will always reside diagonal to each other because they two electrons cannot be cannot take place besides each other okay so um, two electrons are there um, by turning them mutual electrostatic mutual, uh, mutual electrostatic repulsive force is created between electrons and we can get either logic 0 or logic 1 so as from the figure you can see that if two electrons are residing here and here so they will create a logic 0 and if two electrons are residing here and here they will create a logic 1 and uh, for any logic to be decided we are living in the binary world binary world says that two logic should be there logic 0 and logic 1 so we can identify logic 0 clearly here by by keeping the electrons in at this place as well as by keeping the electrons in these places we can identify them as a logic 1 okay so by arranging these electrons properly we can get a proper logical expression first of all and okay the most important thing is that for passing information in QCSS propagation of polarized charge is used instead of flow of current here current is not flowing means electrons only are moving from uh, in this four doors so electrons are not going out of this box they are just moving this is the electron tunnel junction is there electron can move from this to this through this to this in any four junction and two electrons will always uh, will like reside in the diagonal to each other and uh, because of electrostatic which uh, electrostatic repulsive force okay, between them so we can get here two logics logic 0 and logic 1 and uh, as we have seen that for a transistor what is a transistor transistor is a switch which can go from logic 1 to logic 0 electronically we do not have we need not have to manually switch it on and off we can do it manually sorry we can do it electronically just like that like this year here also if we are uh, we are changing the uh, in the logic 0 from logic 1 uh, logic 1 to logic 0 electronically our work is done so here it can QCSL can also work as a switch here now um, the here only the pro 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 um, propagation of polarized charge is used instead of flow of current between the electrons so that the re they require very low power energy and the processing speed is very high compared to the other techniques okay so we'll go to the new news next slide now this is a QCA binary wire so we can we are residing we are keeping all the QCA cells uh, besides to each other and we are making the QCA wire if we will give you logic 0 here you can see that we will get logic 0 here this this gives us the logic 0 and gives us the logic 1 okay so QCA wire which are generally needed to transfer a single consists of chain of cells coupled to each other as shown here okay so column column interactions in the wire are the main cause to pass information from one cell to another cell okay now you um, can see that for designing QCS cells and in, an uh, inverter is very much important a QC inverter is a basic logic gate which inverts the topology of an input from one logic to another okay so we can see that from figure 3 QC inverter will invert the logic from logic 0 to 1 uh, the basic inverter what does it do it inverts logic 0 to logic 1 as well as if you will give logic 0 as 1 as an input it will give the logic 0 as an output so in basic CMOS cells we are using two, two transistors one NMOS and one PMOS PMOS we are keeping at the upper side in, in the pull up network and NMOS in the pull, pull down network and we are connecting the gate of two transistors with each other and this is, this is working as an input the source of PMOS is working as a VDD and source of NMOS is working as a ground the drain connection means the drain terminal of both the transistors are working is out so there is a simple circuit you can imagine of a CMOS inverter but here we did not go to that 
we are keeping we are we can see from the figure that we have we have used only four four number of QCS cells here in uh, figure three a. Uh, why two cells are okay? We have to keep generally two cells with each other because uh, minimum two cells are required because uh, there are chances that one QCS cell get, cell can get filled because the size of the QCS cell is very less. So minimum two cells should be kept should be kept with each other for any logic for. Uh, uh, for our uh, for our precaution purpose okay so if we will pass logic 0 here so that will be converted into logic 1 if we will keep the uh, keep the cells cross to each other like this okay the same logic the same the same um, robust type of qca inverter is also there you can see that this is logic 0 is passing here and it is converted into logic 1 here okay so like that qca inverter we can make this is a robust inverter because here many cells are there and if one QCA cell gets failed so no problem we will still get logic 1 if this part of QC, this inverter is getting failed so this part will work here so it will give us the correct output of uh, inverted logic here okay so that is the uh, important of about this top this uh, circuit this is a robust inverter but the number of QCA cells are very uh, high here compared to this uh, figure 3a here only four QCA cells are there and here we can see the 9 QCS cells are there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 QCS cells are there.